Just got an upgrade for my 300 blackout. Walk with me. with a family it's your boy and diesel what up remember my 300 blackout in the rail issue that i had as far as the rail not going all the way to where the last diffuser is you remember that i like the blast diffuser i like the look i like its function so i wasn't going to take off the blast diffuser to fit a rail onto my gun as the blast diffuser actually serves a purpose not just for aesthetics but for functionality i've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for a handrail that was the length of the barrel to cover up the end of the blast diffuser and i finally got it with a story that pissed me off and i'm going to tell you about that too but first go ahead and take a gander Yep, blast fuser. Oh, that looks aggressive. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me let me safety check this because I, I already hear y'all talking shit in the comments. Yep, it was loaded, but it was on safe, so work with me. This is what it looks like, and I'm loving it. Stretch that rail out. One of the people in my comments said, yeah, bruh, go ahead and stretch that rail out. And I did. This is a 12.6 inch handguard. And this is an 11 and a half inch barrel that has the muzzle brake, which is like extra two and a half inches and the blast diffuser. So this is what it looked like. I'm happy as shit. I'm fi I finally got what I wanted. So now... This firearm is complete. Now all I gotta do is stock up on a bunch of ammo and test those mosquitoes gangster. Unless somebody walk in the crib and I have to test they gangster. So this is what it looked like. Just a little update. I'm really feeling it. Adds a little bit of weight to the gun, but it's still very well balanced. You know, I'm, I'm loving the balance, you know. Free float. Earth thing ain't touching nothing. So natural barrel harmonics keeps you on target really quick, really easy. So the story that pissed me off to no end, I ordered that 12.6 inch handguard from a company named Man Venture Outpost. Fuck them anyway. When I ordered this exact handguard, it was on sale for 86 bucks. Now, the picture didn't match the description, so I didn't really know what to go off of, but I figure the words are what's advertised, not the picture. Maybe they uploaded the wrong picture to go with the description. So I tapped on it, looked in the description, 12.6 M-Lock, comes with the proprietary barrel nut and the whole nine yards for 86 bucks. So I was like, all right, bet, jump on it. Boom. Not only did they send me a 9.25 inch key mod handguard, I repeat, 9.25 inch key mod handguard. They sent it in a box that my son could fit in. Probably to justify the cost and shipping. And instead of them being able to just stick it in my mailbox, no. They had to come interrupt me and my wife's movie to knock on my door and leave this huge box. And I'm like, what the hell is in this thing? Is there a person in that bitch? Pick up the box, no problem. I'm bracing myself thinking this box is gonna be extra heavy as shit. Still not knowing what's in it. Then I look, manventureoutpost.com. Maybe they sent me something extra. Open it up, a shitload of packaging in a 9.2 inch handguard in a box that could have fit a thousand 
9.25 inch handguards. Excuse me, my nerves bad right now. They sent me what I did not pay for, and so I emailed them. Didn't get what I paid for, got the wrong item. Can I send this back and get what I actually paid for? What was advertised in your advertisement? No answer. That was two days after. Two days after that, meaning day four, sent another email. If you can't get in contact or no one contact, go ahead and check your spam. Check my spam, nothing. So I go on to contact us, no phone number, just an email address. So they don't even wanna interact with their customer base. Okay, no problem. As long as I can find a way to contact. contact you day seven I send a third email and this time I'm emailing them direct that's three emails tree of no email so three days ago I send them my final email because I'm pissed now because I have an $86 paperweight I didn't want key mod number one I did not want 9.2 inches number two and I didn't pay for a key mod 9.2 inch handguard. That's number three Did I get an email back from them? No So then I look on their website and you literally have two weeks to do a return Clearly I was probably I'm like to this day I'm probably about three weeks outside of their two-week return policy when I couldn't even contact the person to see how to return it to whom to return it. So, in short, I know this got long, but in short, Man Venture Outpost, you lost a fucking customer, and you'll never even fucking see this video, but let it be known, fuck you from Ant Diesel of Ant Diesel Vision. So, what I did was I went to my local gun store that had exactly what I ordered in their store, for 160 bucks. So what I could have got for 86 bucks, I paid 160 bucks for. With no contact. I'm fucking pissed. I took the handguard that was ordered, that was sent to me wrong, that I still to this day have no contact from. I took it to the gun store and I was like, hey, look here. I want what you got on your shelf for 160 bucks, but I got this unopened. Can I possibly get a credit for $80? Cause you're gonna turn around and sell it for 140 bucks. First one I bought, which was M-Lock, 9.25 inch. That I had on this was 140 bucks. So I know that's what you're gonna do. Can I get an $80 credit on this handguard? and then I'll pay the difference. Yeah, let me go talk to my manager, see if that's cool. Oh, yeah, he cool, go ahead and do that. I came out of pocket, $80, but I finally got exactly what I wanted. It goes all the way to the end and it meets the blast deflector, so I'm happy now. Yes, I'm shouldering it because Daddy ATF said it was cool. Infringement. So yeah, you know, it goes all the way to the front. Liking that, AFG. Grip, white light, I think it's like two, three hundred lumens or something like that, I'm, I forgot. Sight mark, fire field, red dot, filling that with the laser on the side, that's cool. So yes, this gun is finally done. Got my sling. Strap it on and give the mosquitoes that work, give the bad guys that work. You know, got my backup sights. So, you know, I am all set. Dagger defense backup sights. So yeah, I'm done. Completely done with this firearm. Moral of the story is, if you order anything from anybody, make sure you look at their website first and make sure that they have a clear line of communication not emails because 
There's literally no way to tell if they ever got them. There's literally no way to tell if they ever read them or did they just delete? I know if I spoke to you. I know if you're bullshitting after I spoke to you. I don't know if that e those four emails was ever read. Still have no contact. Don't even have the part anymore because I took matters into my own hands. That's what a man do. Y'all be easy. Really appreciate y'all watching. Stop playing with me. Don't study my moves. Just check my footwork. Peace.